Before any product goes to the market, it has to go through extensive tests and quality control. And there is no better man to address this issue rather than Mr. Dice from Roden Schwarz. Mr. Dice, uh, thank you for uh, allowing us to join you to your booth, to your stand at, here in Productronica 2023. So, how is it possible that Roden Schwarz produce arguably the best test equipment for 90 years? Yeah, thank you very much for the introduction and also thank you that we have the opportunity to introduce Roden Schwarz on the TV platform. So, yes, you're right. Roden Schwarz uh, is doing 90 years of test and measurement. Uh, it was founded in 1933 by two persons, Mr. Rode and Mr. Schwarz. And even today, uh, after 90 years and a worldwide presence uh, and success, the company is owned by the two founding families. Uh, the family from day one uh, was focusing on a company who is doing innovative products in the test and measurement field to enable a safer and connected world. So this is our goal, our vision, our focus in our daily life and daily work. In the last few years, how uh, Roden Schwarz managed to develop uh, as a company? In yes, so, so actually myself, I'm working for Rode since almost 25 years now. And I have to say, at the beginning, uh, the main focus was uh, on, on European area, where today we have a global presence. So actually, as Roden Schwarz, we have 1,400, no, 14,000 uh, employees worldwide and presented in 88 countries. Uh, and there we have development, we have production, uh, but also we have uh, service sites around the world. And also we are to have the capability to doing trainings for the local customers. So making sure your clients are satisfied and if something is uh, going on with the equipment and how to use it, you have all the tools. Yes, yes. we do have. So we, we take care for the entire echo chain. So also, I mean, you talked about production. It's, I mean, we have products and therefore also out of those products, we, we develop solutions for the production lines to enable a fast and a reliable production. That's very important because today the, the technology is uh, immersing and in a faster and faster phase. Uh, so how is the digitization, the industry 4.0, is uh, affecting Roden Schwarz? So, so 4.0 means every, everything is connected over the Wi-Fi or, 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 uh, or 5G today. Uh, and of course, in theory, this works everything smooth and fine. But in practically, you have uh, issues with the setup. You can have interference in, in, in the production line so that, that uh, robots cannot communicate. Uh, and we have examples where if uh, some robot arms don't get uh, a signal every nanosecond, they, they stop the production for security uh, processes. Uh, and therefore, we have to ensure that these functionality is given that the production runs 24-7. Yes, this is like today in the industry, everything is connected to the cloud. There are so many sensors, a lot of inter interferences probably happening. And uh, But still, your test equipment allows that you will guarantee and test that everything is working perfectly. Um, so. Um, is there something about your equipment that makes it so good, like the high quality? Well, uh, there are some unique topics uh, from Roden Schwarz. So as I said before, we are a private owned company. So that means also we are able to invest quite a lot of money in our own R&D. So we develop our own components like we have in our new scope, the 4000 series. We, we, we have uh, our own components inside, which gives the, uh, this unit an incredible performance. On the other side, uh, also as a private company, we have a long-term strategy. Uh, so we can really schedule carefully, develop with a lot of innovation, new products, which I said before, helps the industry to develop new products, but also helps the industry to run the production. So it goes together, high right. quality products, and also train professional personnel at your facilities. Exactly, absolutely right. Uh, perhaps we can meet one? Yes, uh, for sure. Okay, so let me introduce you to my colleague Nelly Bellintes. She will give you an uh, overview about our spectrum analyzer, FPH, and how this one is used 
in production lines. Thank you, Jörg. Um, thank you for being here. My product is called FPH. It's a spectrum rider and it can go from 5 kilohertz all the way to 44 gigahertz. What do we use a spectrum analyzer? It's just to check as an helicopter view all the signals in the spectrum. In production lines, uh, we can do this, but go to the line production when everything is turned on or turned off, and we can check the spectrum clearance, check in which frequencies our manufacturing lines will be working on, and then we can identify when everything is off, if there are signals appearing that potentially may interfere in the production line. When we are working now with the harmonized lines, all the plants producing, we then can go again with our product and check and hunt with different varieties of antennas and check if there are something interfering. For that, we can, this, is, this would be the helicopter view, checking all the signals um, working in the same environment, but also we can go to a different uh, mode, in this case, this mode, go to maps, for example, then we can download the information of the location or a certain area and start triangulating and identifying where the source of uh, interference comes from. So I hope you like the idea of using FPH. Uh, besides that, it has also a great battery uh, operation time, so you can work nine hours during the day. It's very port portable, and also it doesn't have a fund. Therefore, it's uh, very safe to use it without uh, adding dust to the product and continue to work safely in clean environments. I hope you like it. I would also like to give you an introduction of, a, of this shelf because i uh, just like to show you the products which we're actually selling also via Team E to the end customers where we have oscilloscopes like also the portable oscilloscope uh, which has, as you see, the same size uh, as the, our spectrum analyzer, FPH. We have power supplies coming up to 800 watts and four channels. Uh, and goes also to another high-end or 4,000 series oscilloscope like the RTA. I would like to introduce you to another colleague on the other side of our booth. Uh, he's working the, uh, he shows there the LCR meter, uh, LCX100. So, Shivan, uh, here we have the device that can test uh, and tell you where the components are going. Perhaps you can tell us a bit more than what I just said. Of course. <laughs> So what is the primary function of an LCR meter? It is just to measure the components at a fixed frequency. But some of the special LCR meters, like the one from Rodeo and Schwarz, the LCX, they come with advanced capabilities which are beyond LCR conventional mode of an LCR meter. And today I'm focusing on one of the advanced capabilities of LCR meter from Rodeo and Schwarz. We call it pinning functionality. So it is Kind of, I would say we are trying to simulate one of the scenarios of the production line testing where you have a robot or a handler and he would like to do completely fully automatic control and the sorting of the component using an LCR meter. And that's Rodion show us the LCX. Uh, can we test it? Yes, definitely. So I would like to first explain the principle briefly about the LCX, how it's working. So as you can see, we have a lot of test fixtures and here I have chosen LCX Z1 connected to LCX 200. And uh, I have chosen this because it's, it fits well for the lead type components. That is my DERTS, the registers that you can see here. And um, yeah, so with binning functionality, you can define up to eight pins. As you can see on the screen, we have eight pins. And um, the best thing about this is that they are completely configurable. The user can decide the quantity and the tolerance range of these pins. Um, with my um, setup here, what I have done, I have a bunch of 1K resistors, as you can see on the table. I have a binning demonstrator that is connected to the digital IO lines that are on the back side or the rear side of the instrument. 
these digital IO lines get all the binning data from the instrument. And now I would say we are good to go. We have a bunch of resistors and I would like to control my instrument. I'm a bit lazy like a robot, so I don't want to touch the screen. So I have two switches here. One is the hand switch, as you can see there. And I have also a foot pedal switch there. And with the switch, I can trigger the LCX and the LCX will help me to find the right bin for my component. So I have two LEDs here, like red and green. So red LED defines the bad component. So currently there is a bat component sitting on the test picture, so you can see the red LED here. And yeah, likewise the green LED tells about the green, good component. So let's see how it works. Um, let me plug in a good component now, and let's see if LCS can give us the right pin for the component. I pick one of the component from here from the test pictures, and I plug in into the test picture now. And I press the, here we go. We got our right pin here. That's P1. With the green light, that means it's a good component. So I simply place it here in the right pin. Okay, can I try? Sure. Okay, we can see here that all of the resistors here are about one kilo ohm. Exactly, but they have different tolerance ranges. Yes, different tolerances. Yes. And it's probably very hard to do it by measuring with an, uh, regular uh, digital multimeter. Definitely. It's, the, it's gonna take a long time. Press it, place it completely inside. Yes, yes. No. and now I'm... Yeah, press it once and release it. Let's say I'm busy with my hands, I'm going to be ready with the other resistor, I don't have time. Now I'm, I'm pressing, I'm using my legs yes. to operate it. it. Tells me to which bin I should store exactly. it. And let's see how fast I can do it. At the measurement speed of LCX. It's pretty quick, yes. anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Much quicker. Uh, and you don't have to focus on it. Like, bam. Goes there. And it's not only for the resistor. Yeah, right? of course, you can define the components like capacitors and inductors. But of course, you have to tell the LCX about the component and the tolerance ranges. Mm -hmm. But uh, I understand that it doesn't have to be with me in the test testing facility. It can be also somewhere else. What do you mean? Could but you elucidate? That you, it can be connected uh, and appear in a different room? Exactly. So we have a very special feature. We call it VNC, Virtual Network Computing, which you can see on the screen. You just need to connect to the network, and then you can, you can have a look at the um, testing phases of production line online. And yeah, you can just have a look at it uh, with your favorite coffee sitting at home. Okay, so you can have the coffee and I can have the device. And uh, thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Mr. Dice, uh, thank you very much for the interview, for your time, for the, uh, also to your uh, team. Uh, and um, thank you for having us on the stand. Um, I wish uh, Roden Schwarz for more than uh, another 90 years of successful uh, and high-quality equipment. Thank you also, and it was a pleasure to have you here, and I hope we see you also on one of the next exhibitions. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.